Hello everyone, this is Flammy, and welcome back to the fifth part of my interview with Jorge Yao. So we are in the second section of interviews here, and we have all of your questions for Jorge. So, Jorge, how are you doing? Great, how are you? I'm doing great still, and I'm excited to be back for another part, and we've got some great questions here. Alright. So these questions come both from YouTube and from my Facebook page. Okay. You actually did uh, to a great service and were answering a lot of questions on the YouTube videos themselves when they went live. So I thank you for that. <laughs> no problem. Uh, without that, I would have many, many more questions here to ask you. So if you uh, have a question, maybe you can go check out those other videos, check out the comment section, look for George Yao, who is posting on YouTube there. So starting us off, we have Peter asking, your town hall is outside the walls and you're always at 4,002 cups. What's up with that? I'm on a long shield right now, <laughs> luckily. So I think this is a common question from a lot of lower level players. You look at the top of the leaderboards and like, what, what? You're like, your base currently says North 44 made out of walls and everything's right. surrounded around the outside. Right. I mean, it looks pretty awesome, but it doesn't make a whole lot of sense from the defensive yeah. side. So whenever you see someone with their town outside the walls and the top leaderboards, is it safe to say they're on the shield? Yes. Is unless, that unless to say? <laughs> no, because I made that stupid mistake a week ago. When ah, I so there might be 30 <laughs> seconds there when someone's town hall is outside yeah. the walls and they're not on shield, but only 30 seconds. It's only 30 seconds. <laughs> Indeed. Okay, moving on then. It's from Mahadi. When people attack uh, Jorge Yao, do they win or not? Oh yeah, they uh, before the update. I haven't been attacked since the update. I've been on shield, but before the update, yeah, the, um, it was almost like a guaranteed loss when you go on defense, which is what everyone hated because you would have to net positive every single session you play. Otherwise, you're just constantly going down on defense. It's almost a, it was almost assumed that you're going to at least get one starred, if not two, three. Ouch. So yeah. the second part of this question is, uh, in the previous time, you said that uh, it took an hour to find the right base. Why does it take so long? Um, so there is a cup differential, I think, they use to determine what the ranges you're allowed to find. And, to, and that's just so that it makes it fair um, where your cup level isn't too far from the person you're attacking. And so you're, you know, and the Obviously, the cup, uh, the amount of cups that you can win or lose is dependent on the the differential, but uh, or the difference. So basically, say you, it allows you to attack players plus or minus a thousand trophies from you, but there's only two hundred players in that range. That's why it takes so long because there's only two hundred players within that thousand or so range. Yeah, I think when I was on my way up to four thousand again, my my buddy and I were. Um, Tracking every single player that I, I attacked, and we, I couldn't find one that was greater than I think ranked 60th. So I, I, I thought the range for um, between 3,900 and 4,000 probably was uh, anyone ranked 60 or above. So you think they actually do it by rank on the leaderboards? No, it, it just ended up that way. We we just compared it to at, at whatever people. their current trophy count was. It, exactly, because we know that the people that I'm attacking have to be on the leaderboard somewhere. So it's easy to see exactly what their count is. Nice. Exactly. Okay, then more questions. Uh, what would you like to see in the next update from Michael? What would I like to see? Well, I haven't really seen this update yet. To be honest, I've been all my all five of my builders are busy right now working. Uh, while I'm on shield, so I haven't tested anything. I haven't had a battle, haven't defended, so I'm curious to see how this update goes and then see what I'd like to see in the next one. Okay, fun. So you're looking forward to using this update that we've all gotten experience and you haven't yet. Uh, yeah. Do you have any other like sort of balance changes? Last time you talked about defensive stuff. Uh, more defensive stuff you think is needed? Um, I don't know, to be honest. I mean, like I said, I haven't played the game since the update, so I don't really know. You know, maybe my frustrations from losing on offense are going to say, you know... Call, color your opinion a little bit. Exactly, and I'll have a more biased opinion, but right now I really honestly can't say which way it should go. I mean, I'm glad it went defense this time around, but I just don't know what extent, to be honest. Okay, so we have a question here from Keelan. Okay, so af this is a... this You might have a hard time with this one. Okay. So after maxing out a Town Hall 7 base, should you upgrade your Town Hall straight away, or should you fill gold storages and get super prepared, etc.? 
might have been a while since you've been down at Town Hall 7, and you might have been shimming at that point. Yeah, I, no, I can't answer that question, to be so, honest, with Keenan, an intellectual answer, answer. My answer to this would probably be, you don't have to prepare a ton. So if you've maxed out everything, uh, for so you have all your defenses at max level, most of your offenses at max level, and like all of your walls at max max level for your current Town Hall, or close to, I would say you're plenty prepared. You don't need to fill up your storage, in my opinion. And remember that the Town Hall upgrade does take a couple days, and you can continue working on your last couple defenses or finishing up your walls and maxing them out during that time. Okay, from Martin. Martin wants to know if you have all of the achievements unlocked. Uh, I think I have, I, I haven't completed all of them. I think I have a few more, um, but not many. Not many. Do you have the, uh, donation achievements? Yes, I do. How did you get that? Because, I mean, I'm still struggling with that. I mean, I guess I can see you're donating dragons all the time, but, uh. Yeah, uh, <laughs> when you're dragon, donating dragons and pe- pekkas all the time, it, uh, you level up quick. But actually, I, I haven't hit, um, I just hit 100, I believe, last, last night. Um, I was bored and, you know, frustrated, so I decided to... You hit to, level 100 from donating troops? Yeah, I basically clan hopped and filled up open request with level 6 giants. <laughs> That's pretty and, friendly of you. Yeah, and actually, uh, last couple nights, uh, we've, I've created this clan called TLNC, which is the late night cafe, and we just have it open for maybe an hour or two, and anyone can join. And basically, they come in, request troops, I donate level 6 troops, they go off and essentially just get experience points, people get free troops, so it's a win-win situation. So I've got a question here, it's actually pretty related to that. So, tell Jorge Physics says hi, he knows exactly who I am. Uh, (laughs) He wants to know when you're doing TLNC again. Uh, maybe after this interview, but I, Physics, you're one of my shoutouts, so I don't want to miss you, and also your girlfriend, uh, Nerdy Girl. Um, both helping out with TLNC. <laughs> there you go, um, helping out troops so for us little guys. And I would like to apologize to everyone who gets kicked from TLNC. We, uh, we hope that you don't take it personally. We just would like a rotation of new players coming in requesting troops, um, and not the same people over and over again. But the, we do. The goal is to donate <laughs> troops, not to talk. It, well, I mean, I like to say hi, but the clan chat goes so fast, I can't even read it. It's ridiculous. <laughs> that must be something to see. It froze my iPad actually a couple of times, um, including me out of the app. Ooh, wow! Super <laughs> sad. Get on that. Exactly. Um, they probably hate me for spamming their servers. <laughs> okay, Town Hall level ten. Do you have any ideas what this is for? I mean, I can't answer this question. So this is sort of along the lines of the other one. But anything you'd like to see? New defenses? Something creative? Yeah, I would like to see something creative. Um, I think this last update was kind of cool with the air bombs. That was that was kind of cool. Um, I would like to see something maybe more levels to heroes, but uh, because right now I have a maxed out dark elixir storage and I'm wasting dark elixir every day with nothing to spend it on. So, so you have two hundred thousand dark elixir and nowhere right. to burn it. Yeah, and my collectors are wasting more every day. So that sounds like a first world problems right there. Uh, so yeah, Reddit would refer that's what to I that. like to call a high class problem to have. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see, what would I like to see for Town Hall tens? See, so I think there's something really interesting with the Teslas, and we didn't actually really talk about it, so maybe we'll talk about it here, which is they've never had sort of defensive specialties. And here, Teslas now are doing both bonus damage against Pikas and they're prioritizing them over other units. Right. So I personally would really love to see sort of an expansion and continuation of that theme right there with their uh, sort of specialty defenses. So you can maybe set your defenses to focus on certain things or just certain buildings which will focus on certain things. Yeah. No, that would be interesting and would change the game dyma- dynamics drastically. So it would be cool to see that. And also the, the Teslas are, I believe, the only ones, the defensive buildings that haven't aren't like black-based or themed yet, so I'm sure they're going to add another level, at least I, another level to the Teslas. I wouldn't know because I can't see them in your base because I'm not cool enough to be in your clan. True. I actually tried visiting one of your Reddits the other day. The only It was only maybe one or two that had an open slot. All of them were max capacity. It took me a while to find one that actually was like 49 out of 50. 
there are uh, a bunch of full ones, and I need to probably get on creating a new one. Uh, someone actually did post on the forums uh, that I saw like a couple hours after that that said, uh, Jorge just applied, but we didn't have an elder online to accept him. <laughs> exactly. So I won't play an app. <laughs> so I'm sorry about that. No, it's okay. <laughs> okay, Tyson asks, what is your favorite defense in the game? What is my favorite defense? Like, unit? Building? I assume structure. Structure. Well, let's do unit as well. Both of them. Um, I think structure, I think the Teslas are really cool. I mean, in terms of damage, uh, I don't, I don't know the statistics behind it. I'm sure Mortar does the most against Pekka's if you can hit them, but I just like the Teslas because they're cool. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Personally, at lower trophy counts, I don't like my Teslas. They always seem to activate so slowly. It takes so long for something to get within its radius. Yeah, the radius is kind of small, so, but. Nice rate of fire, right? Yeah, and it's good to protect your town hall, so. Okay, let's go on to unit. What's your favorite unit? My favorite unit? Well, I was, I always use dragons, so that, that was always my favorite unit. Um. Gonna stick yeah. with dragons then, yeah, despite their dragons. recent, uh. I, I do like the level six giants though. They, they do look pretty badass. Oh, looking. I agree. They look quite awesome with all their hair yeah. and stuff sticking out. Exactly, they just look like monsters. <laughs> So I got a question from Will about shields. I'll read it all. We answered part of it, but he's got an interesting point at the end. So Will asks, uh, find out how he uses shields because I've seen his base vulnerable for days and have have to wonder how he skips the cooldown time. Oh, so you can so there's cooldown tactics as well. So when you stack a shields on top of each other, so uh, this is pre-update. You can buy all three shields at once. They they stack the duration of the shields on top of each other. But the cooldowns start right when you buy the shields. So uh, you get that extra amount of time of cooldown um, just from buying all three at the same time. Instead of, you know, waiting the, de- you know, the designated time that you bought and then buying the next one and then buying the next one. You buy all three at the same time, you gain extra time on shield that is used for cooldown as well. So that's very interesting. Does that mean you can also buy a shield... Uh, like a one day shield, uh, I was at three and seven, or no longer seven. So, and then oh, by the yeah. time that those sh- the seven day is running out, you can buy another one day. Yeah. So the the best strategy before the update that you could do is, and I didn't have this until um, literally the day before the update, which is why I struggled. I had to maintain, uh, you know, my way up to four thousand. It was so difficult that whole entire week because I didn't have any of the shields. All three of my shields were activated this past weekend. So I had to basically get to 4,000 and maintain it till the, uh, I got my shields. Um, but the best strategy I think is use a one day, a two day, and a seven, um, all at once. So that's already 10 days of shield, uh, that you get right off the bat. They add up and then the cooldown started right away. So at day, Five, you already have another one day shield. You activate that. At day ten, you have another one day shield. You can activate that. A two day shield, you have a ten day cooldown. Because you bought them the first day, you already have ten days of shield. By the time the shield ends, you already have another two day shield. So essentially, you can do a one day shield, a two day shield, a seven day shield, a one day shield, a two day shield, and another one day shield. Wow, <laughs> that, that's some pretty uh, specialized tactics right there for high level players. I think it's 14 days, or 13 or 14 days it comes out total. Wow. But you can go on shields. So Caleb asks, will the higher level barbs, giants, archers, and balloons affect higher level attacks? People have tried uh, balloons, maybe see if balloons got significantly stronger and we can use balloons again to attack, but it didn't really make a difference. The The only thing it really makes a difference on is um, defense when... You're requesting level six archers now instead of level five for your clan castle. That's the only real difference that that you see. Um, and that's for high because level. none of those troops were really used that effectively at high levels right. uh, on offense before. Right. Exactly. Uh, well, now except for the giants, actually, I would say more people. A few people are using giants in combination with the pekkas, um, with their pekka strategies. So a few giants, not many. Um, but yeah, that uh, generally speaking, those troops aren't really used in most attack strategies. Interesting, interesting. From Omar here, we have. Uh, can we get a video of you attacking? 
Yeah, of course. Um, probably won't be for a little while. I'll, I want to, you know, slowly drop in cups a little bit, uh, slowly, very slowly, <laughs> <laughs> and as yeah, slowly as possible. And then once I get to a level where it doesn't take me, you know, an hour to find a match, um, then I'll start attacking more and recording some nice videos. Sounds good, and that sounds like a good strategy, so you're not wasting all your time waiting for uh, the ability to record, because right. that would be painful if I had to do that, I can tell you. Exactly. Okay, so Drew here asks, I've noticed you in a few other clans besides North 44. Why are you doing that? Uh, Well, w- visiting friends. I'm on S.H.I.E.L.D. now, so uh, visiting uh, other friends' clans, saying hi to people. Um, I've been clan hopping to donate uh open requests, so you'll see me around. I'm just having fun. It's really nothing. Everyone knows that I'm in, I'm North 44. That's my clan, so um, they and, don't need and to and worry course, about me. the Late Night Cafe as well. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Donating troops in bulk. Exactly. I think in one night, in probably like an hour or two, I'll probably have 4,000 donations. Wow. Yeah. So, one last question here. I don't have a name for this. It's off YouTube. Uh, I forgot to copy the name. It says, I'm a level 18 and want to ask Jorge Yao if I should buy gems and speed up my upgrades or just wait. What do you recommend? Um, to be honest, it's up to you. It's how badly and how impatient you are. <laughs> I mean, you can literally spend gems on anything in the game to speed it up, but I guess it really depends on how how long you're willing to wait and how patient you are. So I can't really decide for you or recommend one or the other. So I mentioned it before. You you did answer questions on YouTube, and that was under the name George Yao, correct? Correct. So I did notice while looking through YouTube comments, I found this funny comment, which I'll share with you here before we wrap this up. It was, wow, some guy made a fake Jorge Yao, and he spelled it George Yao. Ha ha, retard. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah, that was the real one. And yes, yeah. he was answering questions. And he likely yes. will be answering questions again. So, ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I hope you're around in the comment section because that was pretty funny and that cracked me up when I saw that. Uh, <laughs> oh, YouTube commenters. Um, dear everyone watching this, please try to break the bottom line or at least the average line and uh, increase the quality And because Jor- Jorge will be answering your questions in the comment section below. Okay, then, to wrap up this video... Uh, let's see, Hori, do you have anything last things you'd like to talk about or say or give shout-outs to? Um, nothing to say. You know, this game has is, is, been a lot of fun, you know, continue to be a lot of fun. Uh, the people that you meet um, all across the world are, are amazing, so it's really, uh, it's, it's a fun game and never really expected myself to, uh, you know, meet the people that I did and, and play this game for as long as I have. <laughs> But um, I, I would like to give a few shout-outs. Bear with me. Um, no problem. Take be, all the uh, time you want. It's going to be pretty long. So, nor, obviously, uh, first and foremost, North 44, everyone in there. Uh, Lebesters, Ahmed, Sammy, or Core Matter, Turbo, Charles, TB Reckon, Intardis, Neo, Matteo, Edster, Ashkin, Bumuter, Bayram, Death Dealer, El Haza. Uh, Chin Tam, TJH, uh, thank you guys, Ra- Rachel, sorry, uh, <laughs> Crazy Tariq, and Undercover Moose, uh, love everyone, those are all the elders, so I have to pay my respects. Nice. Um, from Awakening, uh, Matthias, Matt, he's a, he's a buddy of mine, um, from Clan Holland, Yori, uh, Bang Boy, uh, Tutita, um, all the kids in Holland, you know, you guys are amazing, thanks for the support. Uh, TLNC, I, I already gave them a shout out so they get double this time. <laughs> Physics, um, and his girl, his girlfriend, Nerdy Girl, thank you for helping out with TLNC. Um, people probably hate you for kicking them, but I love you. <laughs> um, to a special friend actually, even though she's, she recently quit the game, um, I had the pleasure of getting to know her and meeting her. Even though she is in Bombay, Canada, I, I'll still give her a shout out. Her name's Claudia. Um, and she's just a good friend. So I toast her off and wish her the best of luck. And then last, uh, but not least honor 44. It's our farming clan. Um, both the North creators or founders are there now, Dando and Victor, um, pay my respects to them. And then 
to all the supporters out there. Um, sorry I can't add you on Game Center. I appreciate the support, but, you know. Anyways, so thank you very much, George Jorge Yao, once again for uh, pairing through all of my questions and all the questions of everyone who has watched the previous segment, so thank you. No problem. Anytime. Beyond that, I uh, would like to extend the offer to anyone else who thinks they have an interesting story to tell. Just let me know via private message on the Supercell forums, on Facebook, on YouTube, or on Reddit. I think that's enough options that you probably should be able to contact me on one of those if you are not necessarily a high-level player, but if you have some interesting tactics, interesting strategy. I don't know. We'll see. could turn into something. So thank you, everyone else, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this fifth installment. This has been Flammy, and this has been Jorge Yao signing out, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you.